Hey y'all, my name is Rylan. Welcome to my channel and I think day 10 of Bookmas if this ends up going up on the day that I have it scheduled to go up. <laughs> Today's vlog <laughs> is hopefully going to be a really fun one, but in like a really sad way. So today I'm going to be starting my reread of A Thousand Boy Kisses by Tilly Cole. I read this book last year and was a wreck for a long time after finishing it. And I think I'm still partly a wreck because of this book. It is always on my mind and I decided that this year I wanted to do a reread of the book. So I'm going to give a quick synopsis really fast because I do know what this book is about because I've already read it. But this is a young adult contemporary book about um, Rune who becomes best friends with his next door neighbor named Poppy. Their friendship turns into something more but when Rune and his family move overseas, I think to Germany for his dad's job, the friends get separated and Rune becomes a different person. Well, he comes back, I think their senior year of high school and yeah, is an angry, angry boy, 17 year old boy. He expects Poppy to still be there. And while she is, she will not talk to him. She has cut him out of her life without any explanation. Turns out Poppy has a really good reason for doing so, yet their romance blossoms once again. I'm going to do a reread of it. There will not be spoilers for this book. I think that this is one to go into without knowing a ton. Just know that it's sad to kind of prepare yourself for that mentally. Like it, it it's really painful. But I'm going to be rereading this book starting today. But I'll be rereading, not this edition, but I got the special edition of A Thousand Boy Kisses from Hello Lovely. It is signed by the author, which is super cool. I loved this book so when I saw that they were doing restocks of it on their website I just had to get it. Some people are probably going to be like why are you annotating and writing in your special edition? Well I want to. <laughs> so um, I have tabs in this copy as you can see. I'm going to do the same thing with this one but I'm also going to write in the book and at the end of the vlog I'm going to compare them to see like if there were any things that stood out to me differently this time like if i had more tabs the second time that i read it or if like you know this one hit me the hard the hardest and you know my reread is not as bad we will see what happens but i'll update you all first when i get to 50 percent share my current thoughts show y'all some of my notes maybe and the tabs that i have in this one i'm really scared to read this but also like i've been wanting to since i finished it last year and now is the time to do it with my special edition copy from Hello Lovely Box. <sighs> I'm scared. But also excited. <laughs> so we'll see how this goes. I'll update y'all when I get to 50%, let y'all know how it's going. And then once again, when I finish the book, Hey y'all, I am here um, with my official 50% update for A Thousand Boy Kisses. I have been reading this book very slow, or at least it feels like I'm reading it very slow because I keep having to read a chapter, walk away from it, come back, read another chapter, or sometimes even half a chapter, and then get up again because I'm just, I'm in physical pain. Even though this is not the first time that I've read this book, I am still hurting so much and I have no idea how I'm going to react when we get to the part in the book that um is just absolutely devastating. So I'm very scared, but you know, not surprised. I am enjoying this book immensely um, once again, or as much as a person can enjoy a book that causes them physical pain. But I love our two main characters, Rune and Poppy. They are complete opposites. Rune 
is your, you know, your classic bad boy and Poppy is all sunshine and flowers and she has such a positive outlook on life despite everything that she's going through. And I just, I love seeing Poppy and Rune together again and ugh, I love this book. I do want to like show y'all really fast since I have both books here, how many more tabs I have the second time I'm reading it compared to how many tabs I had the first time I read it. Um, yeah, you can see a very clear difference just between, yeah, just like right here. Um, and I'm only halfway through this book. So I would say that I probably have as many tabs in the first half of this book as I have in the entire book from the first time that I read it. But I love it. I feel like I'm just tabbing everything. I have been, don't hate me please because this is a special edition. I have been underlining parts of the book. I drew a little cloud around a part of the book i've been yeah annotating it not super heavily but definitely a little bit and i've really enjoyed doing that with my books especially with romance and so i am doing it with this book uh, even though it is a special edition i don't care that much i have zero plans on ever selling this because i i love it i truly truly do definitely a top 10 book of all time for me even though i will be a shell of who I am currently by the end of it. I just wanted to give a 50% update. I do plan to finish this this week. Um, it's Sunday, so probably by tomorrow or Tuesday I should have this one done. Not sure when I'll finish my vlog, but um, I will have it finished. Maybe I need a couple days after finishing it to calm down and gather my thoughts to talk about it with y'all one final time. Um, I'm not going to spoil anything for it. This book is so much better without knowing really any details about the synopsis, but I will probably be a hot mess of emotions. So be prepared for that. Um, I'll hop back in, as I mentioned, when I finish the book at some point this week, and I will wrap up uh, this reading vlog and be sad for the rest of my life. <laughs> it's getting really late. So I'm kind of whispering, but I am determined to finish A Thousand Boy Kisses tonight. And I have 35 pages left or so, 35, and I'm determined to finish it tonight. So y'all are going to get to watch me read the last 35 pages of this book on camera. I'm going to like fast forward um, the reading part in my uploaded video, but y'all are going to be able to watch me react to the last 35 pages and it's going to be hard. So enjoy. I will talk to y'all tomorrow when I have coherent thoughts to wrap up this vlog, but I wanted y'all to see how much this book breaks me. So enjoy this roller coaster. <laughs>
also not including last night's clip of me finishing the book. It has been probably two weeks, a week and a half, two weeks since I had read A Thousand Boy Kisses. I finally finished it last night. As you saw me being a mess over in the last clip and this book got five stars again. I mean, I couldn't not give it five stars. I Words are hard when talking about this book. I didn't cry as much, I didn't cry as hard last night as I did the first time that I read this book. I felt like overall I was a lot quieter with my pain <laughs> at the end of the book. Last time I read it or the first time I read it, I was not quiet. It was like full on sobs and I feel like I had that a little bit more under control this time. But this book just, it, I'm wrecked and a piece of my heart, like a very tiny piece of my heart, will forever be broken having read this book. And I know it's fiction, I know it's fiction, but like it, it, it hurts, it hurts so bad. So I feel as though overall it's best to keep things very vague with this book and it's better to go in not knowing very much. I feel like that helps with the emotions of the book and yeah, makes the experience more authentic in the end but i will say that there is uh content warnings for cancer loss of loved ones grief and things like that so it is not an easy book to read it does not have your conventional happy ending which is why i'm not sure you can necessarily consider this a romance completely but in its own way it did have a good ending and that's all i'll say about that because i don't want to spoil anything <laughs> yeah or make the experience worse but it's just it's such a beautiful book it's a staple in my reading journey and yeah it's one that i will never forget and i'll probably have to do a reread of every once in a while because i'm just in pain i wanted to see if i can find one of the quotes from near the end of the book that i underlined uh, i'm not sure if i'll be able to find it but like oh, i feel like this just like embodies the book in general let me see if I can find it. I really want to find it, y'all. All right, y'all. Here it is. Kiss 819 was the kiss that changed it all. The kiss that proved that a long-haired brooding boy from Norway and a quirky girl from the deep south could find a love to rival the greats. It showed that love was simply the tenacity to make sure that the other half of your heart knew he or she was adored in every way, in every minute of every day. That love was tenderness in its purest form. <laughs> I don't read it as well as like the words on the page make me feel probably, <laughs> but like this book is so good. It's hard to recommend it though. It's hard to recommend it because like it's hard, but at the same time, like everybody should read this book. It's so good. It's so beautiful. It's heartbreaking and happy and so powerful. I feel like it's such a strong testament to the strength that young love can have. I feel like a lot of times people tend to be skeptical of high school sweethearts just because of, you know, the likelihood of them ending up together, but strong, deep love is in the pages of this book and I love it. So as you can see, I have a lot of tabs in this one. Compared to the first time that I read this book, I have quite a bit more. I'm not sure if y'all can tell that there's a difference there, but there's definitely a lot more gaps in between the tabs in my first book or my first read of it than my second read of it. And I feel like that's great. I noticed more things the second time that I read it. There are more things that stood out to me that I wanted to make sure I, you know, remembered when I flipped through the book. So I, oh, I love it. I love the colors of these tabs. So much fun. Anyway, I don't need to ramble anymore. There's nothing else to say except that I love this book and I will be forever sad over it. <laughs> anyway, that was a very exciting reread of A Thousand Boy Kisses by Tilly Cole. I had a lot of fun doing this reading vlog. I had been wanting to reread this book for a long time, so glad that I finally did it and put it all into a vlog because this book is it's not underrated by any means but I feel like I don't see it talked about on social media super often and so here I am expressing my love for it and screaming that y'all have got to read it because it's great anyway like I said I'm done rambling I need to wrap up this vlog that was my reading vlog this is my reading vlog 
thank you all so much for watching this reading vlog if you have read this book and have any thoughts on it feel free to comment down below and let me know if you want to read this book and you've wanted to read it for a while consider this your sign to finally pick it up if you can yeah thank you all so much for watching this video and i'll see y'all in the next one Thank you.